Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 28th of May 2023, Sunday evening here. Um, uh, what's going on? I see uh, Reed in the Guardian, uh, immunologist um, from Yale, uh, the Yale School of Medicine, Akiko, uh, uh, I want to say Iwasaki. I hope I've pronounced that correctly, uh, says that um, more than 65 million people worldwide uh, may have some form of long COVID. Uh, this condition is really getting um, really uh, very severe for some people, I've noticed, um, uh, in particular because uh, they're not really sure how to treat it. Um, so it's uh, long COVID is not really one thing, various different um, symptoms uh, seem to abound um, and uh, in fact more than more than 200 symptoms actually have been found but I think one of the most uh, important is the chronic fatigue that people get um, and this is uh, you know to, to the point of disabling them uh, okay um, let's hope uh, not too many people uh, on the ch watching the video are, are sufferers of long COVID um, let's get on with the game of uh, Sudoku from the Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle. I can see something, but it's not a very easy thing. I'm sure they're. Ho I'm, hope I'm hoping they're going to be easier things, but I'll tell you what I can see, just in case uh, I don't see anything else. Uh, I see the seven and the six blocking across here in a New York Times style. So we've got six and seven in those squares. Um, Okay, uh, obviously I don't know which is which from up here, but what does it mean? It means we've got six and seven, so we've got four, um, four, eight, and nine across here. We've got four and nine here. Okay, so that's got to be an eight there, and we'll have four and nine in these squares. So let's see, does that mean anything on fours? So fours will be up there. Um... And nines, uh, don't really know. <clears throat> um, not sure. Uh, if we've got four and nine, I should also check out the rest of the row just in case. So we've got four and nine there. So we'll be looking for uh, one, two, and five. Uh, so we've got one and five there, so in fact we can get ourselves a two there then in that case. Ah, that's useful. Two blocks across here. I've got myself an easy number there and actually an easy number going up there as well. Get ourselves a two. Uh, since we're on the twos, I can see twos blocking like this. So that's going to put two into that square. Don't think I can do any more with the twos. I think I'm going to be left with them in those squares. Try to remember that for me. You know how bad my memory is. Uh, right. So I've now I've now forgotten. Uh, this was what like I've really forgotten now. Was it four and nine? I've forgotten now. Uh, what is it that we had blocking across here? Six and seven, was it? Six and seven there. So this is four and nine, yeah. Um, so we're looking for one and five in these squares here. Uh, in fact, we do have fives in those squares there. The ones, what do I know about one? Uh, we got ones possible in those squares. One, five. Uh, right. Okay, we have four blocking across here and four down here. So four in this square blocking back here will give us a four there. Ah, aha, 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 aha. Four and five blocking down here. 
but the 4 going up here means that 4 is in one of those squares so 4 and 5 also blocking down here and 4 and 5 across here that's 4 and 5 now I worked out a moment ago that 1 we're in these two squares because 1 goes up here 1 blocks down here right so that has to be a 1 and now we've got 1 blocking across these two rows that's going to put a 1 into that square and I can get this this was 4 9 this is 5 isn't it and then this is four. Okay. We have 8 blocking up here and 8 blocking down here, so we'll place an 8 in that square. Just one digit missing from this column, in fact, which looks to be a 9. And... Uh, mm, 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 mm. Okay. Last number to place here is a six. Um, okay, oh, no, not, I thought I'd worked something out, but not quite. Ah, oh, we've got seven blocking up here and seven across here. I didn't see that one before. I see it now. And then we've got sevens blocking across like so and across here. So in the column one there, we've got seven in that location and seven back this way. Seven across here and seven down here gives me a seven there. I'd already spotted that sevens were in those squares. When I made a mistake before, I thought that this was a pair of seven and nine. I realized, no, it's sevens, but it can't. It doesn't have to be nine. Uh, nine is still possible in that square there. So um, Nines are like this. Um, anything else I can do on the sevens? I uh, don't think so. Okay. Uh, now we have eight blocking these two squares, so there's our eight. Five blocks this square, so in this row there's a five. We'll finish this row with a six. Six blocking down here and across here means that's a six. I remember this is a seven. Six and seven we had in those squares, didn't we? And now then seven blocking up here and across means seven must go there. And seven across here and seven down here. I think this could be the last one. It is. Good.
3 and 4 block this square. We've been looking for 1, 3 and 4 here, so that's got to be a 1. Six blocks across here, six blocks up here like this, so that will be a six. And the last number up here is a five. Six also across like this and up here. Get the six there, six down, six up here and six across here. There is a six and also six across here. There's a six we can place as well. Last one, in fact. Uh, we're sure to be able to get this number. What, let's have a look and see what's missing over here. Uh, we're looking for 5 and 9, I think. And so this is an 8. Okay, we have one blocking across here and one up here. That will give us a one in that square. Two blocking up here and across here puts the two here, two across here, and across here puts the two into that square. That was the last one. four blocking up here uh, and four across here and then we've got f uh, four actually four blocking up here let's put the four in there first four blocking across here up here and across here means that's our four Five blocks across here, meaning this is a five. Five blocking up here and across these two rows means that's a five. Five all the way to the bottom here gives us a five there. The missing number from this column is a three, I think. Missing number from this column uh, looks to be a nine. And we also need a 9 down here. The last number to place here is a 3, I think. 3 blocks this square here, so this has to be a 3. 1 finishes there, and up here we're looking for an 8. 8 blocks across here and up here, so there's an 8 we can place. Uh, one blocks up here, so that's a one in that square. One across here, one up there. I don't know if you, if the microphone is picking up. There is a car alarm going off somewhere. It's quite distracting, really. But um, can't find what the missing number is. Nine, is it? Okay. Um, and uh, obviously we need a 9 to finish there. 9 blocking down, there's a 9. 9 blocking down here, here's the final digit, 9. Over here we're looking for a 4, I think. 4 blocks up here, that means that's a 4. And then we're looking for 3, in fact just 3s to finish the game. So that's our LA Times expert level game. Um, much simpler than uh, the other puzzles today, I think. That's it, bye bye.